all right, that, that, this is your cue to big round of applause, the engine inside, everybody. Wow. Executive producer Ian Dunn, beautiful, beautiful film. I was talking with Hans Ray on the front side of that, and we were just talking about all the beautiful stories, uh, and it's all based on two wheels. Um, just maybe kind of share with how, how special it was working with a project where you just had so many different stories. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, thanks, everyone, for coming out, by the way, and yeah. staying warm, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of people are hu hugged yeah. up against the heaters Higher here. People over there. This is, by the way, he lives in Squamish, Canada, like some of the best. What I'm freaking right? freezing over here. I know. This is for Laguna. This is cold. <laughs> so just so you know. Um, yeah, I mean, it was an amazing project to be a part of. We got our, we've made mountain bike movies for years, and uh, but we had the sort of the idea of doing a film about all different sides of cycling. Um, and so then we started looking around for like different stories, more like an anthem film, you know? And then we look at different stories and that's how we ended up finding all these really inspiring characters. Maybe speak to that, just the, the work that goes in. I mean, telling yeah. story is, you know, is one thing, but finding the story is worth telling. It's a whole other, whole other, uh, you know, yeah, I guess can of worms, right? It's it took years really <laughs> to find different stories that to, could fit together and not feel like they were repetitive um, and then to sort of capture all the different ways that bikes can change the world and and change people's lives so we were really lucky we worked with Mitch Scott uh, helped us write the film and he did an amazing job doing research and then we just had a lot of people coming up to us and saying oh here's a cool story because I mean, it's a project that we've been working on for about five years, so it took a long time. And it, it had such a warm tone. Before we came on stage, I was mentioning the fact that you got Phil Liggett. And those that, that if you're cycling fans, Phil Liggett, the voice of Tour de France, along with Paul Sherwin, I was lucky enough to work with them uh, at, at the Olympics. But that voice, I mean, what was it like working with Phil? Because he is such a legend. He's a total <laughs> legend. And yeah. I mean, obviously, we had known Phil for years, and yes, iconic. He is the voice of cycling. And so when we were talking about who could we get to narrate the film, his name was the top of the list. And um, we reached out to him, and he was instantly like, oh, yeah, I'm in. And then meeting him and working with him and just to hear all the stories that he's got. And he is such a huge believer in bikes himself. Um, yeah, he was incredible to work with. He, he is to bikes, I think, what David Attenborough is to uh, yeah. wildlife, right? <laughs> he's, he's he is the David Attenborough of bikes. <laughs> I'm just telling you. <laughs> um, so speaking of all the different stories, is there one that really resonated or connected with you more than uh, uh, any of the others? I mean, that's, that's hard to say. I mean, probably for me, being someone, I came from mountain biking, rode mountain bikes my whole life since I was like a little kid. And um, I never really understood the connection. I'm just learning this now about how mountain biking and, and how that interacts with nature and how that makes you feel. And so Jay's story, um, that's a big deal too. Like the residential school stuff that's happening. I don't know if it's a big th thing down here, but in Canada, we're trying to do a lot of learning about this. So for me, that's one that really did change the way I see the world. Okay. And any, any tips for some aspiring executive producers out there? You know, <laughs> things you've learned along the way? I know you've, got, you've already got you know, a couple of, uh, a long list of projects on the resume, but you know, some, some tips for budding filmmakers. Beg, borrow, and steal? I don't know. Beg, borrow, and steal, okay. <laughs> and you can always put it on plastic, right? Yeah, yeah, just try to get. Yeah, that's the borrowing side. Okay, well, um, <laughs> well, I, I know you know, have you seen, uh, we, we're gonna, we got Washed Up coming up, which uh, Cam Zink. Cam Zink, yeah. I, I, I love, you, I, I mentioned it, Washed Up, and he's like, he's like, how appropriate, and he just won the Red Bull Rampage. Insane. Yeah, insane. Insane. So Cam Zink is gonna be here on the other side of that, and then we've got Nothing's for Free, Derek Westerland, Free Ride Entertainment. Amazing film. Hans Ray. Richie Schley and Cam Zink, so um, yeah. we got a full night, and we thank you so much for sharing the film. Uh, it's a very, very beautiful film and so many great stories, so thank you. Ian Dunn, everybody. Thanks. <laughs>